Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Corn and soybean futures were lower Monday after the government said grain inventories were higher. That's our top story on Ag Day. USDA's latest supply and demand ledger shows domestic corn and bean inventories were larger than forecast by analysts, and that sent prices headed south. Old crop corn stocks are down 17% from last September, likewise for soybeans. And the all wheat stocks, they're down 12%. Pro Farmer Senior Market Analyst Brian Grady has details from the Pro Farmer Studios. Brian. Well, not too much uh, surprisingly, uh, USDA September 1 corn and soybean stocks came in higher than anticipated once again. On the corn side of things, USDA found about 163 million bushels more than they indicated or estimated in the supply and demand report just a couple weeks ago. And on the soybean side of things, it was 16 million bushels more that they found in addition to what was estimated in the supply and demand report. Now, the, the revision on the soybean side came in the crop. Uh, they upped their, their 2012 soybean crop by about 19 million bushels, and that was the result then of, of the 16 million bushel increase in the ending stocks. On the corn side of things, we just have to assume that it was new crop supply that was harvested prior to September 1 that is now co mingled in and, and uh, gives us just a bigger supply as of September 1. So now moving forward, what we have is a situation as harvest is already going on and the seasonal pressure is building, we now have a supply situation that's a little bit bigger than anticipated, which is bearish for the market. For the editors of Pro Farmer in Cedar Falls, Iowa, I'm Brian Grady.